It's Chris Waters here on the live stage show at GameSpot's E3 2013 coverage. I'm joined again by Corey, the man who bedazzles everything with Pikmin. Corey, welcome back to the stage. Thank you, Chris. Good to be back. Is your microphone on? It says it's on. All yeah. right, I can hear you it's now. a little bit closer. There we uh, go. Excellent. Corey, uh, I think you might be our most frequent guest on stage here. You are the Nintendo guy. Uh, it seems to be that way. It's pretty awesome <laughs> to have you here, though. And today, it's Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Today, we've got Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, as you mentioned, for Wii U. Uh, we just announced this game, actually, for the first time a couple days ago. Was um, that the Tuesday morning thing that I woke up really early for? Were you awake? 7 a.m.? Yeah, yeah, bright and early? 7 a.m. It's awesome. E3. <laughs> Give me a break. Anyway, uh, yeah, Trop Donkey Kong Country back in action. Uh, recent Donkey Kong platformers have been uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Mm -hmm. That was a huge hit on three Wii U and then 3DS. Uh, yep. And now Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, Hopefully this will involve frozen bananas in some way. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go ahead and hop into some uh, some early gameplay here. Um, as you mentioned, Tropical Freeze, this game actually, uh, the storyline actually has these uh, Viking invaders invading Donkey Kong Island, kind of kicking him out. Vikings doing what they do, right? They're Vikings, and they're not just any Vikings. They're evil sea lions, uh, walruses, and penguins. Wow, so, a whole menagerie. Um... <laughs> Donkey Kong, way to extricate yourself from that crashed airplane in a totally smooth way. Now, um, right off the bat in this first level, you're going to see something you didn't see in Donkey Kong Country Returns for Wii, which is uh, underwater levels. The, uh, the development team has uh, kind of gone back. They've added a lot of new things they wanted to add that they couldn't in the original uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Look at his adorable little feet kicking. Did you realize Yay! that Donkey Kong was such a, uh, such a great swimmer? He is and a very accomplished swimmer. Wow. The animations that the development team has been able to do, I mean, like, the detail in his feet kicking and uh, almost like the bubble, the water coming off of him when he jumps out of the water is just... It he, looks nice. It is a absolutely beautiful looking Keep game. You picking on these dodos, man. <laughs> They're extinct. All the K. So, um, another reason we're really excited about this game is that, you know, you've got these HD multi layered uh, visuals. So, not only, you know, the foreground just absolutely uh, breathtaking, but the background, the multi tiered uh, HD graphics, you've got, got some stuff going on in the background throughout this level. You're actually going to see the Viking ships kind of invading um, as well. But um, now, right Donkey up Kong Country Returns, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's about the banana collection. It's about sort of finding secret areas. We saw one that was just, we saw one there earlier. Uh, we're going to be able to get up by that piranha plant. You know, like, oh. yeah, we're sort of scouting. Uh, my eye immediately tries to spot all the little areas you can try you to know, get to. Yeah, most people that have played games in the Donkey Kong Country series know these levels are filled to the brim with secrets. So you've got banana coins. You've got the KONG letters. You've got the puzzle pieces. Um, one thing we're actually we're seeing uh, Donkey Kong doing uh, previously was he was actually plucking things out of the ground to advance uh, through you know some puzzle elements, okay. um, which is also uh, a brand new element to this game. Um, you know, fans that played Super Mario Brothers 2 back in the day might remember plucking vegetables. So, oh, so uh, many turnips! So, uh, so his new plucking ability is going to have that ability. You'll have the ability to solve puzzles in new ways here. Uh, you'll, you, of course, you just saw the return of a familiar, uh, familiar Kong as well, the old Diddy Kong. He's back with his uh, his barrel jet, kind of jetpack. So when you get him on your back, you can uh, kind of float, makes makes uh, jumping and kind of gliding through the levels a little bit easier. And with Diddy Kong on your back, it begs a question that Padbot in the Twitch chat is asking about co-op play. So this game, although uh, Terry's back here playing uh, the game one player, the game will support uh, up to two players locally. Um, and, uh, of course, yeah, one player would take the role of Donkey Kong, the other could take the role of Diddy Kong. Uh, if you guys have watched the E3 trailer, you may have actually seen the appearance of Dixie Kong. Yeah, I was going to say, we got other Kongs in there. So she's not uh, playable here in the E3 demo, but she is back. Again, fans of the uh, original Donkey Kong Country games back on the Super Nintendo will remember that Dixie Kong, of course, had the ability to kind of spin her uh, ponytail and yep. kind of float up higher to, uh, to higher places. Mm -hmm. um, one thing, actually, I want to point out right here, though, is another new thing the development team has added, which is oh, wow. this dynamic camera. Yeah, you were which spinning is, around that tree. Um, cool. So no longer does a level necessarily have to go from left to right the entire level. You might have, you know, going around that tree in 3D. Now you're going through the jungle, hitting the bullseye on this Viking ship and here. What is this? And, um, and so that was, but that's, you know, those are sort of, um, you know, if this is the core, action the, the the platforming the, the this, this perspective those are 
sort of these action moments and you know like mine carts have been, have factored heavily in the Donkey Kong Country series previously. Mine carts are making a return. Mine so. carts are back. <laughs> what about Rambi and Swordfish Guy and uh, rideable uh, other the creatures? Rideable buddies. Uh, yeah. we, you know, we haven't seen any of those uh, quite yet, but uh, definitely stay tuned for more. Um, I can share actually one additional piece of information, though, that was shared by Mr. Tanabe, producer on the game. Um, yesterday in a uh, uh, developer direct on YouTube, he okay. actually shared that in addition to Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong, there will be one additional um, character that will be Frankie playable. Frankie Kong confirmed. <laughs> no, maybe not. Yeah, there, people are asking about all types of different Kongs in here, some of which I think might actually be joke Kongs that they're just trying to get me to mention. They're making up. <laughs> Uh, but here we see, is this uh, Walrus Fellow, one of the Vikings? Looks like, yeah, they are, they are the Viking invaders again, trying to stir up trouble and kick, basically kick Donkey Kong out. Another uh, cool thing, you know, we saw early on in the level, actually, right here I should point out that uh, there's a letter behind uh, uh, the G letter, kind of back in the background there. A yep. new thing you're going to be able to do in this game is actually pick up enemies, um, oh, and you can throw them it. into a target, so bringing that G letter up here. Yeah, I saw you grabbing a turtle shell earlier. I think that grabbing turtle shells is actually a pretty cool game mechanic. I hope we should, we could, we should be able we should see that in more stuff maybe next year at E3. I'm not sure where they got that You're idea from. grabbing turtle shells. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Tropical Freeze, obviously this level is showing us the tropical, but uh, Donkey Kong Country, you know, is a, a diverse land, shall we say, uh, full of different biomes and different uh, environments. Where, where else are these guys going to go? In this game, um, you're actually going to be kicked, like I said, kicked out of Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Island, and you're actually going to be uh, basically kind of jumping from uh, island to island. There's actually five islands you're going to be going through, and uh, based on the tropical freeze, you might, uh, you know, think that they will take you to some frozen um, areas with some snow. I don't think that doesn't sound... <laughs> I, um, I, mean, I guess we did show a little bit of that off in the trailer. So uh, again, fans can expect to uh, to go to snowy levels, underwater levels, uh, a vast variety of locales in the game. Uh, we do have one other uh, quick level we can show you guys if you have a little bit of time. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, this level in particular is going to focus a little bit more on barrel blasting. So we're going to see a lot of barrel blasting, and we're going to see a lot more of that dynamic camera uh, as well. That's really fun and gives you these great perspectives on the level. Um, one thing that viewers at home may or may not know is that uh, we actually have a special Best Buy event taking place at E3 for E3. So, for those of uh, those in the audience that may not know or maybe not able to come to E3, if you go to BestBuy.com/NintendoEvents, um, you'll be able to find a location near you where you can actually get your hands on this game this coming Saturday. Oh, cool! This Saturday. Mm -hmm. And odds are uh, you're probably close to a Best Buy if you live in America. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you guys have done some, uh, you know, especially with the Wii U, I think Nintendo has been doing some, some, some of those kind of events. Get out, get, get your hands on it, get to try it out. You know, it's fun to look at these games. Uh, you know, all our games this year are absolutely gorgeous, but what really matters is how they play. And that's what we want to do is get these games into pe uh, players' hands so they can kind of, you know, play them themselves. Uh, now, certainly Barrel Heavy, as you mentioned, this is Cannon Canyon and very aptly named. Uh, it's sort of a mix here of you know, you reach a certain point, now we're just gonna fire you through some barrels and it's gonna look cool, and also you need to like, get your precision timing down so you don't fire yourself into bombs. Although totally missing the heart and the puzzle piece there. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, you don't wanna go 100% your first time through. You don't wanna leave a little bit for that replay value. Well, is it possible to go 100% your first time through, or do you have to, you know, are there uh, alternate routes you have to you have to choose between that you'll have to, you'll you know, wanna replay so a level? That's actually a really good question. We mentioned the different, uh, uh, characters, so Diddy Kong being available, Dixie Kong. Diddy Kong with his jetpack, Dixie Kong with her <laughs> little aerocopter thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so certain characters might actually be more, uh, you know, uh, more inclined or you know better for reaching certain items, perhaps. So sure. you might want to take that into consideration when you're uh, choosing which character to buddy up with. What are the what are the puzzles pieces for? What do they do? What kind of puzzles? So are they seeing? again, players of the uh, original or you know Donkey Kong Country series with Donkey Kong Country Returns on Wii. Um, you know, when you collected a lot of these pieces and the KONG letters, you could unlock secret levels, uh, the banana coins you could use at the shop. We haven't unveiled exactly what everything those are going to do in this game. Oh, nice. Oh, see you, Diddy. <laughs>
Thanks for taking that giant spiked log for the team. You know, one of my favorite things in the original Donkey Kong Country Returns these, was the satisfaction of reaching the final secret level, and you had to basically collect every KONG piece through every single level in the game. It's um, too bad you guys aren't going to be putting a final secret level in this game or anything. You know, we like don't know. <laughs> Uh, all right, before we wrap it up here, I got a question coming over Twitter from Georgina Perez wondering uh, how much of this play that we're seeing can be done on the, the, the gamepad on that little tablet thing? That's a great question. So uh, right now we're actually playing on the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. However, you can play the game fully with the, uh, the Wii U gamepad and it does support uh, full support for off TV play. Uh, great feature. Uh, and the uh, release date for this is uh, this November. So right in time for this holiday season. Get this your, uh... November, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Wii U. Corey, great to see you again, man. Thanks for talking Nintendo to us. Thanks again, Chris. All right, folks. Day three marches on. More live demos coming your way in just a second.